people, they will say, this man is lazy. If I want to be angry, I have right to be angry. Isn't it? But King Anger, did he mean well for his people? It's not easily provoked. But some of you here are easily provoked. A little word, you are ignited with fire. Is that your call? Is that your call? Is that your call? If, if not, the message God gave to us to the body just gave me this that I must speak on love and truth. I should reflect to it so that people will understand. Yes. Verse 6. Charity rejoices not in iniquity. It, charity does not rejoice in iniquity. But rejoices in the truth. But rejoices in what? In the truth. But today many of us are rejoicing in iniquity. Many of us are now happy telling lies, manipulation. Don't be in a haste. Slow and steady wins the race. Let people understand what God is talking to us. Yes? Verse 7. Charity beareth all things. Charity is a dear all things. Beareth all things. Believe all it. things. And believe it all, all things. things. Whether you told him lie or not, he will believe. But you that tell the lie, you have yourself to blame. Hope at all things. And have hope in everything. Endure at all things. And endure at all things. Charity never faileth. Who have charity among you here now? Look at this quality of charity. Endure at all things. Bear at all things. Tolerate everything. <laughs> Can we tolerate? Can we bear? Do we have that type of quality? Let drop pride. I'm talking to us, our members, and our wives in particular. There is too much pride and arrogance. Who are you if not for Christ? Who are you if not for Christ? You that is proud and arrogant, look at your family. Go back to your family. If they push you out just now, you have nowhere to enter. Why can't you be very wise that God has done me proud? When you come out, everybody, good morning, man. Good morning, sir. Good morning, man. You see now those people that are greeting you? It is the honor and glory of God. Everybody, be warned. You are saved to save. And you are saved to serve. Let us remove pride, hatred, unforgiving spirit. Yes. Charity never faileth, but whether there be prophecies, Charity it shall fail. never faileth. Even if there be prophecy, it shall fail. Whether there be tongues, they shall cease. Speaking in tongues shall cease. Whether there be knowledge, it shall vanish Even away. Even high knowledge shall vanish away. For we know in part. We know in part. And we prophesy in part. And prophesy in part. Not me. Now where's, now, where's somebody to reach? Not be there, you go see reach. No, in part, and prophesy in part. Yes. But when that which is perfect is come. But when that which is perfect is come. Then that which is in part shall be done that away. That which is in part shall be what? Done, done away. away. Which one is the perfect that he's talking about? In heaven, is only one language. Hallelujah is the language. That time, no Igbo, no Hausa, no Edo, no Yoruba. No, no, nothing. But I thank God that the Christ we serve will be the light of that city. No other person. Hence he said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. That no man cometh unto the Father but by me. That is where you must be proud of and tell people the truth. Even though there is dagger facing your throat, tell them the truth. Jesus is Lord. Amen. Verse 11. When I was a child, when I was a child, I speak as a child. I speak as a child. I understood as a child. I understood as a child. As, I, as some of us are here now, we are still speaking as a child, 
and understanding as a child. Some don't yet have understanding. Oh. So I don't even have understanding. I as taught a as a child. But when I became a man, when I became an adult, I put away childish things. I put away childish things. Some of us have never put away what? Childish things. We jealous, we hate, we don't forgive, we don't think of others, we only think of ourselves. Without make one to make heaven? No way. If you are a called servant of God, you are not a harlem, you must imbibe the culture of God. Take Jesus as your mentor that has all of authority, every power to perform. He endured all the suffering and the death of the cross. If now you, you go agree, will you allow it? When people were coming to arrest you, okay, now me, now one come meet as thief and robber with staves, with cudgel, with gun. All the soldiers fell. He told them to get up. To the extent that Brother Peter was angered, draw out sword, clean off the ear of one of the high priest servant, and said, my, my dear, that they that fight with the sword shall perish with the sword. He took the ear, enemy ear, took it what? I put it back. If not you, how you see him? How you see him? Is it easy to be a Christian? It's not tea and bread. It's not bed of roses. There's a battle to fight. But if God is on your side, you will be a winner. What do I say? I'll be a winner. You'll be a winner if God is on your side. But if you are on God's side, God will be on your side. Yes, verse 13 and the last. And now abided faith. Now abided faith. Hope. Hope. Charity. Charity. These three. These three. But the greatest of these. The greatest charity. of these three is charity. charity, which is love. Don't know how wonderful love is. Love shall cover the multitude of sins. Charity. Do you have charity? Do you have love? How, to what extent did you love? Are you not proud and arrogant? Because you are a big apostle now, because you are a big apostle wife, how big are you? Are you bigger than God? Are you bigger than your maker? Jesus, you are calling to come and fight upon all that was meted on him, he endured. Can you endure? Well, how does our question to be answered? I'm so glad you're in my life. I'm so glad you came.